All right, so y'all know I am the queen of not wanting to do too much, and I got these bomb curly clip-ins from curlscurls.com. I'm going to show you guys how you can achieve this look in under 20 minutes because we all know that I really look like this. <laughs> okay? Make sure you guys stay tuned. What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. What you mean? 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 All right, guys, so jumping right into this video, it is sponsored by curlscurls.com, and I'm super excited because they sent me a thick bundle of their Burmese curly human hair clippings, and I'm super excited to slay those on camera today. So you guys will notice that their packaging says Factory Direct, and that is why they're able to provide high-quality human hair at a really affordable price range because they sell directly to customers without distributors. I'm just doing a really quick unboxing for you guys so you can see everything that came in the packaging that pamphlet tells you everything that you guys need to know about installation how to take care of your clip-ins what products to use on them how to actually install them pretty much everything that you guys need to know so I would definitely recommend keeping that and reading through it and they also send these clips um, if you guys want to add any extra clips on there yourself it's really not hard to do and this is the natural curl pattern of the hair like I said it's Burmese curly in 20 inches I absolutely love the natural curl pattern and this is actually my favorite part this is their updated clip-ins they are seamless and a lot thinner which makes them a lot more undetectable and a lot more comfortable I used to wear clip-ins a lot back in the day and that was one of the things that I hated was that the weft was super thick not only does that make it harder to hide but it's very uncomfortable especially if you decide to sleep in them so I was really excited to try out this new and updated clip-in version so I am washing and conditioning these clip-ins before I, I do my install you guys should always do this whenever you receive any type of hair um, and it did not affect the curl pattern at all once it dries you're gonna still have that bouncy tight Burmese curl. I absolutely love, love, love this curl pattern and just how thick and full the hair was. Like I said, I did get a thick bundle, which is 10 pieces, and this was more than enough for a full head. So I'm super excited to actually get into the look. Okay, so that's me or whatever. Um, <laughs> You know, I got a little bit of inches, but we, we get in there. So I'm actually hella mad because right before I um, filmed this video, I had trying to cut the top of my hair. Y'all know the top of my hair used to be a lot longer because I had kind of like a like mohawk, faux hawk type of hairstyle going on or whatever. But I knew that it was going to be a challenge blending these clip-ins in because my hair is just really short. Um, but... I'm like, you know, I had to get creative with how I do it. So let's get into this, right? So I'm starting off by actually activating my curls using Auntie Jackie's Don't Shrink. That's like my um, holy grail when it comes to curling my hair. It's not super curly right now, but it will definitely get there because my hair started off dry. So here are my clean clip-ins. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. They sent me a thick bundle, which is a total of 10 pieces, which is more than enough to do a full head. They also come with different lengths. So there are small ones and large ones. So I always just take them all apart just to figure out which ones I'm going to put where. And the really small ones are like the really short clip-ins. I usually keep for the front because that's going to help to um, blend in my leave out. So I'm just going to go ahead and start by installing these clip-ins into my head. I'm really not doing anything special just putting them in you can always move them around or take some from the back if you don't have enough but like I said this is more than enough for a full head also um I didn't really see a need to add any clips on there those are also clips just in case any of them break over time sometimes they loosen so you don't always need to add extra ones in but they are pretty much placed really well so I just went in and started clipping these in if you have never installed a clip-in before, then basically all you do is open up the clips and attach that to your braid and you close the clip. You can also do this just by attaching it to the root of your hair um, if your natural hair is out, but it just was not going to be smart for me to leave my natural hair out because my hair is literally like three to four inches in some areas and so I'm like blending that in would have been a nightmare so these clippings are definitely thick enough for me to not have to leave any of my hair out especially only at the top and 
even at the top, I didn't even actually end up leaving any of my hair out up there because I was having issues blending um, this in with my hair and it's definitely not the curl pattern. It's because my hair is just so freaking short. Like my hair is short. And so I didn't want to do like a ponytail style or a bun or whatever. That's cheating. I wanted to show y'all how I would make these clip-ins work with short hair. So as soon as I get to the top, you are going to see a clip of me um, actually try to blend those into the top of my hair, which is actually super easy because these clip-ins um, are, you know, thinner, so it makes it easier to do. But my hair is just like such a different length than this, so I'm going to show you guys how I ended up troubleshooting that. So at this point, I pretty much have all of the clip-ins that I need um, in there, not in the top. I have a couple small ones left to do in, in the top, but I started combing my hair into this and I was already knowing. I was like, yeah, you know what? This is looking hella cute, but I already knew at this point that once my hair dried, it just was going to be so much shorter than, than these clip-ins and it's not even like I could like blend it in by cutting it because... These clip-ins are 20 inches. My hair is like three to four. So at this point, I said, yeah, you know what? We're going to have to switch the plan up. So I did try to see if I could first go in. And um, I used to do this when I would do sew-ins. I would like take my hair. I will part it in sections and then add the clippings in the top. But y'all can see that my hair is starting to dry and my hair is extremely curly. So when it dries, I knew that it was going to shrivel up. But what I tried to do first is um, part my hair and insert the clippings in at the top part of my hair, which would help it to blend. But even after doing this, it just did not like blend good enough for me. And I tried like twisting it together and everything and it just wasn't giving me the look that I was going for. So I did have to switch over to a plan B. All right, so for my plan B, um, I was going to do something that I used to do whenever I would do curly sew-ins. Is you just have a little bit of leave out in the front, like right that basically that part that I had separated. And I'm braiding the rest of my hair back. Um, and typically I would do this like before... Um, I put all the rest of the clippings in but since it's too late because I already braided the rest of my hair I'm just gonna braid these back and then tuck it under one of the clippings that I had clipped my natural hair I just left that out and kind of curly because honestly it's gonna blend you're not gonna really be able to see it um, And then I'm gonna lay my last few clip clippings on the top of my hair here going What is this? Uh, horizontally and it's basically like I've used flip over method, which people used to use for their sew ins and stuff. I'm basically doing that, but using clip ins. And I know what you guys are thinking, well, Panda, you can see the clip ins, but I am going to go ahead and mask that. And the way that I'm going to do that is by, um, well, a, my little bit of hair is going to cover that last track, but basically I'm going to take my comb and I'm going to back comb the clip ins. It's just going to make it a little bit frizzy and messy at the top. And then you won't be able to see. And because these are like seamless clip ins and they're very like um, thin then it doesn't really look like a track I don't know if that makes sense so I'm gonna take this and back comb it you want to make sure that you're doing this with a smaller comb otherwise it's not really gonna give you the look that you're going for and that should help to mask the clip-ins underneath it because it's gonna create like a little bit of frizz at the root next what I went in and did is I went in and cut them to frame my face because I just felt like well number one I just like when curly hair is layered because it looks more realistic and so yeah, I just did that because, yeah, I thought it looked cute. So we just gonna throw some water on this, a little bit of product, and we about to be popping, y'all. So I'm literally gonna only use one product on these clip-ins because honestly the curls are beautiful. They don't really need to be like defined or anything, but I really, really love big hair. So I am going to be using um, Joyco's Volumizing Elixir. Elixir. This is what I used to use on my natural hair to just get it super voluminous. I'm gonna put this in my hands and then kind of just scrunch the hair. And then I'm going to take a larger wide tooth comb and I'm gonna back comb it just a little bit just to give me some little fluff. That way you can really see the layers and I don't know, I just think it makes it look a lot more natural on me so yeah I'm feeling these clip-ins definitely a 10 out of 10 for me I cannot wait until my hair is longer so it's a lot easier to blend but I'm definitely not mad at this at all you guys because 
I literally don't have hair for this. So like, I'm super happy with the way that this turned out. So I'm just taking a little bit of edge control. We gonna make it look like I care about my edges a little bit. Um, I didn't put it at the top because I really just like that natural frizzy look so that these really look like my own natural curls. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. I'm absolutely loving this look. I'm gonna throw in a couple of pictures and obviously like a finished look video. And all the links that you guys need to purchase this hair will be located in the description section down below. So yes, y'all absolutely love this hair. This is my finished look. Shout out to Curls Curls for the bomb clip-ins. Make sure you guys check them out in the description section down below. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you guys can be notified every single time I post. And as always, I will catch you guys in my next video. What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. <laughs> what you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What you mean?